The next match will continue. Winner Semis. Please welcome to the ring the young man attempting to complete his Elite Four journey. The savior of Sova, Pope! All right, Pope. As we said, 17 oh. years old. Has to be the youngest player in this top eight. This song is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> the he king. comes with the crown. A humble king. This is absolutely a King K. Rool reference. It, it, uh, it, I think it's K, it sounds like K. Rool to me. Yeah, right. The music, the crown, this, Bro, this almost feels like a reference. If, if he pulls out the K. Rool. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, is he going K. Rool? It's very odd, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he plays, you know, Pokemon Trainer. Okay, take the crown off. Maybe a sign. I like it. <laughs> we, we stand a humble king. <laughs> and his opponent, the current number one player in the world, oh your boy. reign and defending CEO Smash 4 champion, the leader of the Phantom Thieves, Echo Damn. Fox MVG MK Lion! This is an this anime song intro. Right here. I saw him wearing some boots backstage. Oh, he's oh. wearing the outfit. He's wearing uh, Joker's outfit. Does he have our scene behind him? Can oh, you imagine? absolutely. Oh, my goodness. He went full Monty with this. Echo Fox MK Leo. Who is this? He's bringing oh. the Phantom Thief. Oh, man. That is what we call commitment, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that is, that is, uh, that is Joker in his school uniform. Full I, force. I believe you're trying to recreate the winning screen. Oh, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. The same music. Oh yeah, that is Vorod, uh outfit. Are they gonna pose? <laughs> Ooh! I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Leo having a lot of fun. His last entrance was also pretty, yeah. pretty interesting too. Le Leo, Leo, lots of personality. Leo's a wholesome kid. We got that. We got the audience dancing right now. Everyone's dancing to the Persona music. Yeah, people are having a good time with it. They're having a grand old time. All right, Leo, there he is. Pretty much undisputed at this point. World number one, the Mexican prodigy, sitting down to face against maybe another young player trying to start his star career in Ultimate. Yeah, one very interesting thing here is that Leo's not wearing glass. Oh, I, I spoke to I spoke to you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the commentator curse right there. And we're going in now. Leo, he's been just primarily all Joker. Yeah, I don't think he's even bothered to switch characters at this point. Or even try to go from one to another. New character, obviously, latest that was released before we get Banjo and Hero in Ultimate. And it seemed to fit Leo beautifully. Just the movement, the grab options, and the way he recovers. The fact that Joker has a grapple, our scenes back air. Just everything just fits Leo's style, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, this is a character that Leo, you know, funny enough, Leo did not even play Persona before playing Joker. He was just a character that he was interested in just from a gameplay perspective. But I do have great news for everybody. He did beat uh, Persona 5 hey. on the hard difficulty too, so that's pretty nice. Very nice, Zero. And of course, we're all we're all accepting here in Smash. You don't have to play a game, all right? Just but it's to the play power. character. It's the power of but if you didn't play Benja Kazooie as a kid, you kind of messed up. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, wait! Zero. Do you see this? Am I looking as if right? That oh, it is? It, it, wait, no. it is K.K. K. Rool? Is he? All right. I know, it's oh. a I know it's a button check, but we heard the music coming in. We yeah. saw the crown coming yeah. in. We see a gigantic obese alligator on the stage. <laughs> this can, That's three signs, all right? I don't know if, if he's just been baiting us until now, but I'm, I'm, I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised here. I also don't understand wh why... Why, what is the strategy here to pick King K. Rool against Joker? This is definitely a secret strategy because when we yeah. interviewed Puppet here, he did not mention any of this whatsoever. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, wait. King K. Rool's a crocodile, isn't he? He's not an alligator. There's a difference. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, are you not from Florida? Should you not know? Uh, Flo in Florida, we have alligators, but I don't think King K. Rool's an alligator. I'm going to need someone to back me up on this, so I'm sure we'll learn in a second. Anyways. This angle. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about this yeah, angle. <laughs> when do we get this? <laughs> Jabali went Oh, in. okay. All right. All right. We're back to Pokemon Trail. We're back to reality. No King K. Rool. All right. Going with, instead of a gigantic, scary reptile, a very small, cute reptile through the form of Squirtle. 
Okay, immediately switching and MKLeo almost finding a gun gift on the side. Yeah, Leo focusing right here on down throw backer combos. Puppet the iron in, allowing Leo to get two backers off. There's a classic down throw up air loop. Again, finding it even after evading the first one. This is the fifth in a row. Leo just very oh, proficient. Ooh, that is, that is it. Yes, if you up air and then you up E immediately based on the iron percentage, you can get that combo off and it is a ladder combo. All right, he is not here to play great. Delay on that forward smash from Pape, knowing full well if he hit that, our sting would have come out almost instantly. Leo definitely very comfortable with grabs. I see a lot of grabbing in general. And in a game like Ultimate, where most characters don't really grab that Whoa. much. And then, honestly, a beautiful answer to that entire first sequence of events from Pape. Find the down air, and now basically evening out the game virtually. Yeah, that was a great down air here, covering the recovery. Okay, good up tilt. Ooh! MK Leo tried to find that down B to charge, but both players actually missed their openings. Yeah, it feels like Puppet definitely baited the counter right here. He feels very comfortable with a Joker at the very least. I see I see this is one of the matchups that he's definitely practiced a lot. He's right. very used to the mechanics. The Razor leaves to come back down. <gasps> and the up B, he has his own answer off the top. Beautiful anti-air from Puppet. That was insane because he caught the double jump there with the tip of our B, just sweet spotted. And then Leo had probably a little bit of bad DI there, which is why he died a little bit earlier. When, but Puppet running away with this right now. When's the last time you saw MK Leo lose a, his first two stocks first? Oh my goodness, the read from Down Puppet. There. So confident, oh. forward smash, so, soft spot. Oh my, oh my heavens. And that's the RCM smash you have to avoid. Now one stock, this is an electrifying Mad Zero. You want me to tell you what's the crazy part here is that Puppy has been dominated with Ivy Serve, but in the interview, he mentioned that his best Pokemon is Charizard. And we saw earlier today that incredibly clutch back here where he got on Samsora. Can he find the same magic here? Leo, no stranger to being at high percent clutching his own wins. A good back air. Side B risky. Four smash right here. That is almost it. Oh. oh, this might be the it. The Pokemon switch here to get some invincibility. Oh. oh. Squirtle's so light. That is it! Oh my goodness. MK Leo still finding it, showing why he is the best player in the world. Did not break a sweat, even with an incredible opening from Puppe. Yeah, he was absolutely relaxed, even though he was very much down that game. It seems to me that Charizard had a lot of trouble against Joker, though. The mobility was too much for, for Charizard. Yeah, he seems to have had by far the most luck using Ivysaur. He got yeah. these incredibly confident reads. But now he's down 1 0 in a best of three set. Can you imagine how different this would have been for MK Leo, knowing he was one match away, but now he's back in a comfortable spot. But Puppe is not here to play around. Yeah, the pressure would have been insane going into game two, down a game. Getting here again, up throw, up air. I like these chains into a forward air. Quick 37%. And even though he missed that backer, still had an air for insurance. I like these grabs right here. Going for the drag down to get the re-grab. Forwarded to throw him off the level. Leo definitely enjoys the fact that he can get multiple grabs off of up here. He's a big fan of re-grab combos. Oh, for sure. MK Leo is also analyzing these shield patterns for Puppe pretty, pretty well. He's finding these dash attacks more and more often. Leo using, using a little bit of gunplay right here to force uh, Ivysaur to approach. Arsene coming at the best yeah. time right here. It's right for the kill. Uh, what's the answer from Puppe? I like the fact that he, like, Ivysaur's forward smash, obviously, he lunges back when he does it, so it gives him a little bit of safety if he whips on shield. That back here is not going to kill Charizard, but would have killed either of those two Pokemon. There's a lot of air dodge uh, replay going on here from both players, both Puppet and Leo. Abuse of the fact that the opponent has to air dodge multiple times and then yep. trying to get a little bit harder of a hit. Puppet using that air dodge to air to get back, but uh, underestimated a little bit. The short range of Down Charizard, there, that is and it, yes. this was looking like the set. As soon as you had hope, MK Leo reminds you who he is. <laughs> yeah, it almost, at some point we were basically talking about Puppy <laughs> was overwhelming Leo, and now out of nowhere, it <laughs> looks like the set is almost over. Leo is just completely taking over now, Zero. but Puppy is not giving okay, up. Okay, a nice chain right here. But listen, I don't care if you're 17, life comes at you fast, Zero. Can he find the kill? Hold on. 89 right now. Going way low. He's going very low. He's definitely pulling all the cards this for his kill. He has taken no damage whatsoever. He's still at 0%. He's now waiting two nares. Charizard switch again. This this was problematic in the first game, but maybe he can find a kill here. The up smash is not quite gonna do it just yet. But that oh barely living from MK Leo. 
on. I can't believe he just opted to stay there. Puppy whiffing two up smashes, and the up throw will not kill MKLeo. Wow, I always thought that was a little bit stronger, but very disappointed that was not able to find the kill. Puppy definitely trying to look for those up smashes right. or forward to get the kill. Now we're to one to one stocks here. Puppet definitely has the chance to take this game. Squirtle's low percent combos will definitely be able to bring this back. Anyone's game right here. He finds an up air into an up smash. Now switching to Ivasaur for another back air. The forward smash, the same one that won MKLeo the first game. Doing it again, whiffing on shield Puppet with his own nair. Arsene comes out, whiffing the grab. Yeah, Arsene coming at the best time. This is this is Leo's stand right here. Oh my goodness, he did not read attack roll backwards, and now he needs to somehow... Up e. Oh, Ooh, bad DI, almost getting the kill. He needs to Are we going to see a down at the side B protecting Leo from the edge guard? Up throw, no up beat hit. Oh, it's even percent. He whips a forward Ooh. smash. And that, if we MK Leo's 2-0, beautifully played. Avoid the forward smash and give him your own. That was absolutely incredible. It really blows my mind how Leo's able to keep the cool. 